All right. Well, the Bay Area features hundreds of historical homes. And most of them are hidden jewels that people don't even know about. Roberta Gonzalez is live at one of those homes in Pleasanton this morning. Good morning, Roberta. Good morning, Michelle. Did I hear Lawrence allude to being short? Let me show you this. This is an adobe home, and they must have been very short in the 1800s because this is the doorway leading into the Alvisa adobe home. This was constructed back in 1854. Wrap your head around that by Augustin Bernal. We are off Bernal Street in Pleasanton right now. Michelle Kroos is here joining us to tell us about this home because as I walk through it, it is so rich in tradition and history. There was a restoration project that was about five years ago, $4.5 million spent by the city of Pleasanton. Tell us about that. Well, um, the property's been here since 1854, and we wanted to really bring the community into the property and teach them about the history of Pleasanton. So we restored the property. We also, at the same time, recreated the milking barn and the bunkhouse from the Meadow Lark Dairy. But for the most part, we have the furniture that's still intact. Yes, it's all from the 19, dating back to the 1920s. Artifacts and furniture from dating back to that time period. It's just amazing when you look around the structure. Again, I noticed the doorway is very short. We started off with the adobe house itself, and it walks you through the history of the Indians and the Mexican-Spanish tradition. Yes, absolutely. We represent three eras here. The agricultural dairy area, era, the Ohlone era, and the Mexican-Spanish era. I was reading in the Pleasanton Weekly, our local newspaper, that there is a new task force that has been formed to bring awareness to this property. Absolutely. With all of our programs, this program's been around for five years, we want to evaluate it. So we want to hear from the community what they like, what they'd like to see the future of the Adobe look like. So we will be forcing, uh, enforcing a task force. I think this is extremely important to get this message across right now. With school just starting, that kids can actually come and learn about the history of this land. Absolutely. We offer school tours starting in September, going all through the school year. So if students can come here and learn about the property. Um, we have a free open time where parents can bring their families on the weekends. Um, they can pick up exploration backpacks and discover the property themselves. So we have a lot to offer for students. I have come by here on my bike riding by and I see people on the weekends really tending to the land. What's that all about? Well, we have a lot of volunteers who help us take care of the property. Um, we uh, have a six-acre property here, and we really encourage people to come and enjoy the property. We have picnic tables. They can exercise. At the same time, we have a community garden that we allow the volunteers to come help us take care of. Michelle and Frank was saying a little bit earlier that this is one of those hidden gems. You feel the same way? Absolutely. This is a great property. It's very unique. We're very fortunate to offer it. And I think this is a great way to get the word out, though, to people that saying, hey, we have a hidden gem right in your backyard. Absolutely. Absolutely. A lot of people know about us, but a lot of people don't. So it, please come see us. And we've made it so easy for everybody at home. All you have to do is visit us online at kpix.com. Go to links and numbers. We'll hook you up with the Alviso Adobe House, built in 1854 sitting in the backyard right here of Pleasanton. Reporting live from the Tri-Valley, Roberta Gonzalez, KPIX 5. All right, Roberta, thanks. Being in front of a lot.